Drunkards will not enter. You drinking beer? Oh, no. Hey, okay. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, there's kids here. Do you really want to be saying Santa Claus is fake? That's not there, really nice. There's kids in here, I and know, there's half-naked women. Half-naked women in there. You're bringing the kids in there. Well, I'm not What's bringing any kids in. What's wrong with that? Yeah, but other people are. I'm, there's I'm kids not. in there. They should cover up for heaven's sake. Well, they should, but that's yeah, true. Yeah, no, no, they should listen to anything I'm oh, saying. Oh, so this is bad, but when the, when the yeah. women are dressed half-naked, that's yeah. okay? Yeah. That's okay when the women are dressed half-naked? I didn't say that. That's hypocrisy. Well, you can control. That's you hypocrisy. Can control, right? So you can either sit here and talk about hypocrisy, it's all or you can say, hey, it's all there's things I fun. can change, right? You hey, that you gotta use your free will to find God. You gotta use your brain to find God, or you will end up in hell. Drunk, drunkards, drunkards will end up in hell. Drunkards, you drinking? There's uh, water. Uh, I, I doubt it because you're covering it up. Otherwise, take off the bag. Actually, I don't even think you're supposed to be drinking in public. There's some cops right here. They could probably arrest you. Oh, if that's alcohol. Their senses today. Oh, no. You're going to end up in hell because you're, you're, you're living like an animal. Drunkards will not like enter. Animal. Only ex-drunkards. This is where you drunk, drunk, you get high and get laid. Is this how you spend your time? Uh, you're yeah, the Bible says you're going to the wedding. Even if you are happy, you're going to end up in hell. You're wasting your time. You're going to end up in hell that way. That's how you're going to break the body. You got doodle on the brain. The guy that was doing it. You believe Santa Claus is real? Santa Claus WrestleMania. That's the Witcher of Hell. The Witcher of Hell is going to be called Santa Claus WrestleMania because it's all fake. We know! It's all fake. the bottom line cause Stone Cold said so they are on the way to the ring to get the exclusive interview and I gotta wonder he doesn't like being asked if he has used steroids this is a crazy question and it's something that um, it's tough to answer just because of the way society is now mm -hmm. The way people conceive things because performance enhancing drugs have got the spotlight and it's a hot thing to talk about. I can't tell you that I haven't, but you'll never be able to prove that I have. Once I took that one painkiller, uh, your body builds a tolerance and now it didn't work so I had to take two. And then two went, ran into four, four ran into eight. I was taking 65 extra strength Viking in a day. That's, that could kill a horse. I felt like my career was being taken away from me. And I was going to do everything I could to keep it alive. So that's when the uh, painkillers, I knew as long as I stuffed myself with painkillers, I couldn't feel it and I uh, couldn't feel the pain. And I would go as long as I could until my body couldn't go anymore. He tells me he got those painkillers illegally. 2,000 pills a month. It was a secret life he dare not share. As a celebrity, I was told, don't t talk about it. Go to rehab, keep your mouth shut. When you get out, pretend like it never happened. Sex, steroids, scandal. Is it true what they're saying about pro wrestling? Top promoter Vince McMahon answers the charges. It's one part sport, one part showmanship, and it's so big it often outdraws mainstream athletics. Nevertheless, pro wrestling is wheeling. Wave after wave of scandalous charges threaten its hard-won family image. Numerous sources talk about the use of steroids and other drugs, and they've even named wrestling's biggest draw, Hulk Hogan, though he's denied the charges. And now, a former ringside assistant is charging that wrestling executives solicited sex from wrestlers and other employees in exchange for jobs. Some say their careers were cut short for not playing along. Wrestling world in shock today. Former champion Chris Benoit found dead in his Atlanta home along with his wife and young son. Police now treating the discovery as a double murder-suicide. World Wrestling Entertainment says Benoit failed to show for two live events over the weekend and apparently at least one suspicious text message sent to friends prompted wrestling officials to send police to his house. On
I, I would accept no responsibility whatsoever for their untimely deaths, none whatsoever. As far as, and you've got that little look on your face like, yeah, I'm, geez, I'm, Vince, none, how can you possibly none, say that? Well, but none whatsoever. I mean, they wrestled mean, for you. They, they were part for me, of they, your organization. They worked a couple of hundred nights a year for you. They oh lived this oh, lifestyle. Oh, oh, oh my God, you can't, you can't believe. Oh, can you see that look? I mean, oh, how can you possibly say that, Vince? How can you look that way and you're giving me the old sip of No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly curious. Shame on you parents who are bringing your kids to watch these trash-talking, brawling wrestlers. Vince McMahon is a money-hungry pig. The Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. Those who are greedy like Vince McMahon are on the way to hell. You want to see a demon-possessed person? Look at Goldust. Look at the boogeyman. That's what happens when you do too much sin. That's what happens when you watch porn. That's what happens when you get drunk. That's what happens when you do meth. You turn into the boogeyman. You turn into Goldust. You gotta repent. Eddie Guerrero is burning in hell. Chris Benoit is burning in hell. Eddie Guerrero, his model was lie, cheat, and steal. That's what Eddie Guerrero was promoting. He used to say, I lie, I cheat, I steal. Lying, cheating, and stealing will send you to hell. Eddie Guerrero is burning in hell. Time for you to stop following wrestlers like Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit, who's a baby killer. Chris Benoit is a baby killer, a strangler. He beat his wife. That's the type of people you love. That's the type of people you adore, woman beaters, people who take steroids, people who hate themselves, who take so many painkillers that they even overdose. Oh, it's a sad story. It's a sad, sad story. Stone Cold Steve Austin is a drunkard. And the Bible says that no drunkards will enter the kingdom of God. When you watch this drunkard get drunk, hey, you're, you're being influenced. You want to know what's the bottom line? Jesus Christ is coming back in flaming fire to judge all the ungodly and all the wicked and all those who disobey the gospel. And that's the bottom line because the Lord Almighty says so. Not because Stone Cold says so, but because the Lord Almighty says so. Oh, it's time for you people to get right with Jesus. Get right with Jesus. Many of you guys like to say, hell yeah. Shows how much you believe in hell. Oh. You won't say hell yeah if I say, uh. Oh, yeah. It shows how much you believe in hell. You're so passionate about vanity. You're so passionate about... These uh, trash-talking wrestlers, these conceited wrestlers, many of them are so conceited. The Undertaker is a devil worshiper. The Undertaker is an emo. He puts, he puts uh, makeup on his eyes. Is that the type of person you want to be? Somebody who loves death? Somebody who hates themselves? Time for you to stop following The Undertaker and Cain. Cain is on his way to hell, that monster. That's what happens when you give in to sin. You become a monster, like Cain. That's what happens when you give in to sin. You become a devil worshiper, like the Undertaker. Time for you to repent. Time for you to stop being distracted with this entertainment, this junk, this filth that's sending you to hell. A lot of you men, I can't even say you're men, you're like a bunch of babies. You never grew up. You never grew up. You stayed in your cradle watching wrestling, didn't you? You stayed in your cradle saying, uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, it's time for you to grow up, get a job, and serve Jesus Christ. And for heaven's sake, don't allow your kids to watch this filth. You want to go to hell, go right on ahead, but don't allow your kids to watch this trash. Spare the kids for heaven's sake. John Cena is a thug on his way to hell. John Cena is encouraging the youth to be criminals. 
John Cena is influencing the youth to be a menace to society. John Cena is not going to be able to say, you can't see me on the day of judgment. You're not going to be telling God, you can't see me on the day of judgment. On the day of judgment, you're going to be weeping, crying. You're going to be peeing your pants. You're going to wish you had another opportunity. John Cena, Brock Lesnar on the way to hell. Brock Lesnar needs to control his rage. Brock Lesnar needs to control his rage. And many of you are so enraged just like him. You're full of anger, you're full of bitterness, you're full of complaining. Oh, many of you are deaf. You don't have ears for the Word of God. You don't have any ears for the Word of God. Oh, you give your ear to these wicked wrestlers, but you don't give your ear to the Word of God. Shame on you, mother. Shame on you, father, for taking your kids here where there's a bunch of half-naked wrestlers. No wonder there's so many homosexuals, because in wrestling, oh, the men are almost fully naked. No wonder there's so many homosexuals in this generation when wrestling endorses it. Wrestling endorses showing off your skin. Oh, and homosexuality is an abomination. The Rock is on the way to hell. The Rock is not promoting Jesus Christ. The Rock is not lifting up the name of the King of Kings. You want to smell what the Lord is cooking? Do you want to smell what the Lord Almighty is cooking? The Lord Almighty says man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. And that's the bottom line because the Lord Almighty says so. God is commanding you people to repent. God is not asking you. God is not pleading with you. God is not suggesting. God is commanding you, men and women, to repent. God is wrestling with a bunch of you people, but you're stubborn. You're stubborn. You're stiff-necked. You don't humble yourself. It's time for you to surrender to God. God has been wrestling with you for years, but you keep resisting God. God has been wrestling with you for years, but you keep pushing God back. When will you surrender to God? Time for you to give your life to Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of the world. D-Generation de X, a bunch of degenerates. The slogan for D-Generation X is suck it. Is that what you want your kids to learn? Is that what you want your kids to say, suck it? That's what happens when wrestlers become conceited. That's what happens when wrestlers watch too much porn. That's what happens when wrestlers get caught in so many sex scandals. They end up saying perverted things like suck it. Time for you to repent. Get out of this hell hole. Stop watching this filth. By the way, Chris Benoit is burning in hell. Eddie Guerrero is burning in hell. And a lot of these wrestlers that you adore and love are on the way to hell. What, the, what men highly esteem are an abomination in the eyes of God. I repeat, what is highly esteemed in the eyes of men is an abomination in the eyes of God. You got Rob Van Dam who's a pothead. You got Rob Van Dam who's a pothead. Potheads will not enter the kingdom. The Bible says to be sober because we have an enemy, the devil, who seeks to devour you. Oh, a bunch of you people are deaf. You have deaf ears. Time for you to open your ears to the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop giving your ears to this filth. You're going to end up in hell like uh, Chris Benoit. If you don't repent, you're going to end up in hell like Eddie Guerrero. God is going to choke slam you into hell. God is going to choke slam you into hell unless you repent. Oh, God's going to judge you all right. God's going to judge you all right. Hey, I'm just speaking the truth. I'm just exposing the truth. I'm just exposing the lies. I'm just exposing the darkness. 
The truth is a hard pill to swallow for those who live a lie. Mick Foley is a sick, demented pervert. Time for you to stop watching Mick Foley. That's what happens uh, when you're a tra a, white, uh, a trailer trash. You end up becoming like Mick Foley, doing all these drugs, getting high, uh, getting drunk, beating your wife. WWE has a history of sex scandals, steroids, drug use, and it's filled with a bunch of trash-talking brawlers. Brawlers will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Oh, when you allow your little kids to watch wrestling, you are teaching them it's okay to be rebellious. WWE is teaching your kids to be violent. WWE is teaching your kids to be rebellious. Shame on Vince McMahon, that greedy pig. And his daughter, uh, Stephanie McMahon, is one of the biggest whores. Trish Stratish is one of the biggest whores. And a lot of you filthy men love these whores. Oh, you got a pervert right here with that D-Generation X suck it. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Triple H is wicked. Shawn Michaels is perverted. Shawn Michaels, that pretty boy, is perverted. All those things will cause you to end up in hell. China was a porn star. That's who you look up to. China's burning in hell as we speak. If you can listen to China, to Chris Benoit and Eddie burning in hell, they'll tell you, don't watch wrestling. Don't glorify violence. Stop adoring me. Stop following me. It's time to follow Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the ultimate champion. Jesus Christ is the ultimate wrestler. Jesus Christ defeated death. When did The Rock ever defeat death? When did Brock Lesnar defeat death? When did Triple H defeat death? Jesus Christ is the champion of champions. Jesus Christ defeated sin and death. Hulk Hogan is no legend in the eyes of God. Hulk Hogan is no legend in the eyes of God. The macho man is burning in hell. Time for you to stop adoring these wicked, uh, trash-talking brawlers. Oh, you got Goldust, a transgender. Goldust, a homosexual wrestler, a man dressing like a woman. That's a sin. Cross-dressing is a sin. Oh, no wonder there's so many homosexuals because in wrestling, they show off all that skin. These wrestlers are influencing the next generation to be sensual, to be conceited, to be proud, to be rebellious. Oh, a bunch of soft porn when you watch wrestling and you look at that whore Trish Stratish. When you look at those wrestling female whores. Oh, they love to show their skin. It's time for you to keep your eyes to yourself. To behold the beauty of God. You're not going to be saying hell yeah in hell. You're not going to be screaming hell yeah in hell. You're not going to be God screaming saying? hell what is God yeah saying? in hell. What is God God says it doesn't repent. matter what God, God says to repent. Oh, you're not going to be saying that to Jesus on the day of judgment. You're not going to be uh, mocking God on the day of judgment. Time for you people to actually follow Jesus Christ. To actually obey Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey me. Many of you guys call yourselves believers, but you love the world. The Bible says, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anybody loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. If you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. Time to resist the devil and he will flee from you. Time to draw near to God and God will draw near to you. You will seek him and find him when you seek him with all your heart. A lot of these so-called wrestling legends are burning in hell. Like Andre the Giant, burning in hell.
like Chris Benoit burning in hell. Like Eddie Guerrero, whose slogan was lie, cheat, and steal. Lying, cheating, and stealing will get you into hellfire. Shame on you parents bringing your kids here where there's a bunch of trailer trash drunkards like Stone Cold. Stone Cold is a trailer trash drunkard. Time to put the alcohol down. Time to put the alcohol down. Jesus Christ is gonna separate the sheep from the goats. And that's the bottom line, cause the Lord Almighty says so. The Lord Almighty says so. Oh, it's John 316, not Austin 316. Idiot.